when you have Parkinson's, it's very limiting. It's different in everyone. And it's related to your movement. Let's see how hard it is. I make jewelry for focus, for ability to move, for trying to keep still. Parkinson's has many faces. Some people can be having just tremors. Some people can have poor balance. Some people can have dementia. Oh, I lost my balance and first I fell. And my husband just heard the doo -doo 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 -doo. I think I broke my leg. Now I, I have to watch my step on the stairs. Claudia is incredibly optimistic. She always sings. Even at night, she wakes up singing. God made me a friendly person, so I have tons and tons of friends. My friends helped me set up my first fundraising, my potato pancakes for Parkinson. That's all. Ever since, I'm getting more and more and more involved. Every day she's doing something. She is with so many organizations trying to help. She helps everybody. She helps everybody. She's a huge inspiration, basically. But Claudia is really an inspiration. She outpaces most of us <laughs> with her energy and her volunteering. I'm blessed, truly, truly blessed. <laughs> so why is my disease different than my neighbor? The clue is in the genes. 23andMe, it's a company that studies your genes. I said, I'll do it. OK, send me the kit. It's the patient that needs to get involved and be willing to participate in research. What's important to me has always been the, the love and the well-being of my family. Definitely, I'm doing it for them. <laughs> we need to be proactive towards our health, and the best way to do it is participating in research. Why not? get involved in research. Deciphering the genetic code will help future generations.